All right, so here's a quick little uh, pogger tip about using uh, some mods in RimWorld, mainly reinforced walls, uh, advanced munitions, uh, gas traps and shells you can also use this for. I prefer advanced munitions just because there's a way bigger blast radius and the stuff affects pawns a lot more. It's, it's a lot, there's a lot more damage and it's a lot less, uh, di it's, it's less diluted than the um, gas traps and shells when it comes down to damage. Although gas traps and shells is nice because you can actually remote detonate things versus, uh, yeah, advanced munitions which operates like a normal mine. So anyways, for uh, reinforced walls, which is what these guys are right here, well, actually uh, this would be a, the technical reinforced wall, but what comes along with reinforced walls, however, are embrasures. Now embrasures are interesting because they operate kind of like uh, columns and uh, walls, but they do not, however, as you can see here, I have a little room stat thing. They do not operate like walls. So they won't separate one room from another. And because of that, if you set one of these things off, let me show you. In the fun way, of course. As you can see, Amy here has uh, tripped the mine, and the thing just flies outward. So a normal wall will block the gas, but embrasures do not. These things are completely gas transparent, I guess you can call it. So any gas shell that explodes, right? Let me, uh, ooh, forgot to throw the sucker back down. Let's do this here again because I got distracted through some uh, guards down here. Just uh, trigger the sucker. All right, well, that was fucking stupid. Hold on a second. Oh, shut up. So, as we can watch. Okay, that ain't it. So as you see that blast radius of how it went outward and it just got stopped here by the normal wall. Yeah, that's what will happen. These walls do not do not care about gas. They will ignore the gas and let it pass right through. No pun there. But uh, it will, in fact, just... But uh, it will, at the same time, prevent pawns from walking through it or crawling through it, whatever. Yeah, as opposed to like a normal, you know, barricade or something like that. These got, you know, pawns will go right across these. And also barricades, of course, do not hold up roofs. These do hold up roofs, block pawns, but they do let gas pass right through as well as bullets. And that's why these guys got completely cooked. Along with, you know... Things make the funniest damn noises when he, you know, subject him to nerve gas poisoning. Oh, shut the hell up. Put it out of his misery, man. Come on. Damn thing up, so I have to listen to it. Okay, so that's a quick little tip there. So just remember these embrasures, they do not act like a normal wall, they will. They'll hold up a roof, they'll block uh, infantry, they'll block uh, any kind of pawns or objects from passing through, but they won't actually count as a uh, normal wall. So what they'll do is they'll allow bullets as well as gas and other similar things to pass right through them. And that way you can put them inside your kill boxes. And yeah, you know, you just put the thing wherever you like. And you can put it at the late end of things so that you wait for, you can put here at the late ends of the uh, far end of the kill box so that way when the blast radius uh, when it goes off then by the time you know the first guy trips it all the other guys are all packed in here and they'll just uh, go and spray them or like uh, what I forgot to do which was uh, go here and do this oh by the way uh, androids are completely immune to toxins 
This was friendly fire. <laughs> Oh uh, shit! So yeah, yeah. If there's any if there's any damage or whatever, it's, it's typically friendly fire, of course. Let's get the pawns. So yeah, and uh, anyways, if you uh, just uh, you know put your uh, little embrasure over here, we'll uh, test this again and just all, put them all over here, so I don't have to. Wait, 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 wait. R for undrafting these dudes and F for forbidding those. So I don't have to worry about them screwing around over here and getting shot. Probably do it here. I'm using God mode just to speed things up. Okay, so do this here. Well, fuck me. Wrong one. Oh, alpha beavers. Okay. All right. So now we have two nuisances. This was actually not intentional with the alpha beavers. Okay. And of course, these assholes will, just like normal kill box, will go and attack your walls and stuff. But there's a good way of dealing with them without having to seal off your uh, kill box and cook them or anything like that. Oh, also, by the way, reinforced walls, buku amounts of uh, extra hit points. So this limestone heavy reinforced embrasure, which only costs, I think, like an extra 20 steel or something. Let me see. So, so normal limestone wall is five limestone. And for the reinforced embrasure, it's actually five steel and 15 limestone, right? But... As you can see, 465 uh, hit points with your normal 5 uh, unit cost uh, limestone. And you have over, like nearly 3 times as much. Actually, no, that is exactly, that's probably like 3 times as much right there. Uh, hit points with uh, yeah, just like a little bit of steel added in along with the 3 times as much uh, stone. So let's watch these imbeciles. And that's what's so good about this is that when you uh, have a reinforced embrasure like this, you can basically shape the uh, spray pattern of this uh, gas and make sure that these things, that anything that's incoming, even if it didn't enter the kill box, gets pretty much hosed. Unfortunately, nerve gas takes a long time to kill them, but the thing is, is that it won't, it won't really affect your uh, walls very much. So, I mean, you can see 0.1 damage. Yeah, they'll get over there eventually, right? Oh, they're panicking! Oh, no, no. They're just trying to figure out what the hell they want to do because they're in pain. Look at this shit! Alright. That's not... I'm not used to seeing that. I have like a self-preservation mod installed for uh, these guys. Like after they experience so many losses, they just decide to retreat. But huh, I didn't pay much attention to that. But these guys were actually running around in circles, like trying to attack different things, as opposed to focusing on one thing because of the damage they were taking. So that's also an interesting behavior. A another interesting behavior uh, due to the uh, damage uh, mechanics. Huh. Take that, you freaking beavers. So, mild heat to There's a freaking... Oh, my God. Mild double equals true. Seem to be... I seem to be wounded, but I can keep going. You're gonna die there. Ah, uh, the mods in this game are weird. So, yeah. All right, so I hope you, uh... Learned a little bit here about some of the cool mods you can get. Uh, you know, these things, they act just like walls, except they allow gas and bolts to pass through. So you can actually just have uh, blast patterns. And if you're not really willing to, if I mean, if you're willing to just, like, blow the whole damn thing up, 
You could just out. Since that is here doing. Yeah, he's going to run. Oh, he's going to rescue first before he gets knocked out. And uh, how much pain is he in? He's in severe, so he might collapse. Okay, so just to show you. Uh, you knew this was coming. Just to show you, uh, conventional explosive blast waves also do fly through these things. Yeah. He's still alive for three hours. But yeah, <clears throat> don't eat me. Hey, you're gonna rot when you die, dude. That's how disturbed gas works. Ready for a cold run. So yeah, that's how this stuff works. It works pretty well. Uh, maybe not so much for anti-green warheads, but it still tanked it pretty well. And uh, yeah, that body is actually not rotting. That's actually fresh. Maybe it's because there's no shit. Usually they rot when they die because of the uh, huh. That might be changed as an update there from Advanced Munitions. Okay, well, hey, food. All right, so uh, hope you liked watching this. Hope you learned some stuff. And leave some comments down below uh, if you got any extra suggestions or comments. And uh, he did. So, yeah, thanks for watching.